I'm very happy to be at this event for the launch of the CPGRAMS version 7.0 in five central ministries, including our Ministry of External Affairs. My congratulations and compliments to the team at DAPRG, supported by NIC and QCI in extending the coverage of CPGRAMS. This measure will improve the grievance redressal mechanism by reducing time, enhancing data collection, and mapping of last minute officials. By generating an exhaustive list of grievances, we shall be able to help our citizens by providing them precise information and prompt redressal of their grievances. This is our duty as a government that is open, interactive, and caring. Our ministry primarily deals with various aspects of foreign policy. The consular and diaspora services are the public face of our ministry. The issuance of passports is one of the most visible statutory and citizen-centric services rendered by the Ministry of External Affairs through the Passport Save Our Program. This service is rendered through a pan-India network of 36 passport offices aided by 93 Passport Seva Kendras and 424 Post Office Passport Seva Kendras. We had the distinct privilege of the Honorable Minister taking time out of his busy schedule and inaugurating the Post Office Passport Seva Kendras in Udhampur and Kathua very recently. Thank you, sir. In addition, passports are also issued by our 192 missions and posts overseas. Their service levels are of the highest global standards and are exemplary. During the last calendar year in 2019, more than 1.22 crore passports were issued to our citizens in India and overseas. That is one for every 100 Indian nationals received a passport during last year. Our ministry extends assistance to Indian citizens overseas, students, workers, emigrants, professionals, uh, those married to NRIs, PIOs, and many others. Our missions and posts also issue visa to foreign nationals and also provide services for apostoly and attestation besides various consular services. In this process, the ministry receives several grievances from citizens, both in India and overseas. Complaints are usually received in the ministry or in the missions overseas, mainly through the MADAD, which is MEA in Aid of Diaspora in Distress portal, on a variety of issues related to, say, harassment by their NRI PIO spouses, fraudulent agents, consultants in India and, and abroad, students' problems, property-related issues, uh, issuance of OCI cards, and so on. These issues are promptly attended to in consultation with our missions and posts abroad and other stakeholders. In many missions, we have labor wings and consular officers stay in touch with the local community. The protection and welfare of our citizens, especially the vulnerable immigrant communities of workers, are such that we have set up special mechanisms such as the Indian Community Welfare Fund or the Pravasi Bhartiya Bhima Yojana the Pravasi Koshal Vikas Yojana, so that they are aided in their process of life overseas. The ministry has a robust grievance redressal mechanism. Besides CPGRAMS, which has been implemented by the ministry since its inception, the PSP program, the Passport Seva program, has its own online grievance redressal system, where a multilingual national call center operates on a 24 by 7 basis to disseminate information as well as handle grievances and feedback. A senior official at each passport office in India has been designated as a grievance officer who promptly attends to and resolves applicants' grievances in a reasonable manner, in a satisfactory manner. Uh, at MEA headquarters, a dedicated public grievance redressal cell has been functioning. Our grievance redressal rate on the CP grants particularly has been very high with an average disposal time of up to 15 days. We also extensively use the Twitter services to resolve uh, grievances given the high incidence of social media contact that we have with the applicants. In addition to CPGRAMS, 
The mother portal of the ministry has been functioning for the last five years since February 2015. It has been a huge success story where over 50,000 grievances have been registered and nearly 90% of these have been resolved satisfactorily. The Pravasi Bharatiya Sahayata Kendra, PBSK, which operates through a walk-in center uh, in New Delhi and call centers in several other Indian cities, and also has a branch in Dubai, addresses specific issues pertaining to migrant workers. This is a particular concern that we have in the Gulf in particular. Our ministry maintains an e-migrate portal to provide comprehensive information to citizens looking for work abroad. The portal provides for the citizens to upload and update their grievances against domestic and international recruiting agents or employers online. These are then taken up for resolution by the embassy or the consulate in consultation with the other concerned state authorities or companies for an e early resolution. Our ministry has also implemented the e-office and has been using it extensively in various functional divisions. We now plan to integrate the features and functionality of e-offices and roll them out in our missions and posts overseas. Our ministry is committed to improving uh, delivering improved services to all our citizens. In fact, we have been one of the very few ministries which came out with a citizen's charter in March 2019, detailing the services rendered by various divisions at the ministry, the fee required to be paid, the procedures involved, and the timeline for the issuance of that service. We are committed to our citizen's charter to rendering all services in an improved and transparent manner. We have reviewed and updated the Citizens' Charter in January of this year. The Ministry's effort has been to extend maximum assistance to our citizens, not only in India, but also in foreign lands. I am therefore particularly happy to note that we have been very successful in bringing out our passport service, all our passport services and the missions and posts on the CP Grants network while Im implementing the improved and reformed version 7.0, and I wish to thank the, the Ministry's concern uh, for this particular effort. Uh, user IDs have been created for key personnel handling grievances in all the passport offices and in missions and posts overseas. This will substantially extend the reach of any petitioner or grievant in India and across the globe through this particular portal. As the Secretary, DAPRG, said, it will also take considerable pressure off our colleagues uh, who are working in headquarters, and it will direct the complaints directly to the concerned officials in the various missions overseas. This has been a major milestone, and I would like to compliment the officials of my ministry in the uh, PSP division, and also in DAPRG, um, QCI, and NIC for being able to facilitate this in a timely manner. The mission's effort has been to be a key player in the role that India will play in the 21st century and to showcase both within the country and overseas our remarkable transformation in recent years. Thank you very much.
डाउनलोड तरंग ऑनलाइन रेडियो ऐप फ्रॉम गूगल प्ले स्टोर यू आर लिस्निंग टू तरंग डिवोशनल ऑनलाइन रेडियो 